back on my mind Time after time I wonder if this heart will ever end Cause just when I think I'm through loving you Hello everyone, how wonderful to be here today outside Eden Court Theatre here in Inverness to meet this wonderful young man, Brandon McFree. Brandon, how are you? Robert, it's great to see you. I'm doing fantastic. You're how looking yourself? amazing, my friend. Brandon, uh, you're such a busy lad as always. We've done some stuff together recently. We did a wonderful Hogmanay show here in Inverness, which was a great success. And we've done some Burns events recently. We always have a great time, don't we? We, we certainly do. <laughs> but Brandon, you're as busy as ever. Tell, tell us what's been going on in life and music with you. Well, we're back out full steam ahead. Since COVID, we've been locked up inside. We've been raring to go. We've got new tour coming up. We've been recording. We've got new singles, and it's all coming out at once. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it never surprises me, Brandon, because you're never still. Brandon, your tours, which are really important, and you know, it's so exciting every time I speak to you. You've got another project, but these tours are amazing. So. Tell us, you've got your Scottish tour starting very soon. T tell us all about your Scottish tour. Well, there's nothing like performing live on the stage, that's for sure. And the feeling you get when you're on the stage is absolutely incredible. But the tour is starting here in Scotland. It starts off in Livingston. We're in Brechin, Langham, Musselburgh, Stirling, Aberdeen. And we finish up here in Eden Court Theatre in Inverness. So we're so excited to get back out, meeting everyone that we haven't seen for so long and look forward to playing some music. And Brandon, what's all in the show? Well, like, the show consists of Scottish music, there's country music, Irish music, there's some folk songs in there, and sometimes a few hidden surprises as well, which we've got. And you've been doing some composing. That's right. And, and, and uh, I think you've recorded one of your own ones, which I've heard, it's amazing, everyone needs to tune into that. Tell us about that song that you wrote. The song is called Let's Start Again and I wrote it during lockdown with how I see the world today okay. and we put it on the new country CD, it's called Mr Country and delighted to have my track finishing off the CD. In the first month there was over 400 airplays worldwide what on was the radio, that? so I was just so delighted. And, and Brandon, you, well, at the end of last year you had a wonderful tour around Ireland with those two amazing guys, Foster and Alan. H how was that joining them on their tour? Joining Foster and Alan in England was absolutely incredible for me. I have looked up to them for so long. To be out touring all around with your heroes, I couldn't put into words what it meant to me. I'm a good bit older than you, Brandon, but I so remember, because I was a young lad, used to listen to Robbie Shepard all the time. And, and yeah. Robbie, when they recorded one of their great hits, uh, A Bunch of Time, it was played nearly all the time because it was so popular and those lads have never lost their flair and their popularity and you must be learning from those guys too. You know, you learn from them every time I hear yeah. them. Yeah, brilliant. Being with them on stage, you learn things, the way they talk, the way they sing. I'm just so lucky to know them, so lucky to work with them Great. and will continue to keep learning. And Walking on the Waves, of course, you recorded with them. It's, it's such a brilliant brilliant song and, and the three of you doing that, the, the, the energy you get from it is amazing. Robert Robertson is one of the writers of Walking on the Waves and I was talking to him on the phone a, a while after it was recorded and he said I couldn't believe Foster and Alan recorded one of my songs, I just love the version that you've all done, yeah, yeah. so I think you couldn't get a better compliment than yeah, that. Yeah, brilliant. Brandon, I know you've got something very special and you've just released a double single. That's a fun title, isn't it? It's a fun <laughs> title, it certainly is. Tell us about a double single. Well, it's on request from all the radio stations and it's actually on pre-order at the moment on Downloads, which is on iTunes. Yes. So you can find the tracks on iTunes and then it'll be available on all the streaming download platforms after that. So the very first song is actually one from the latest CD, Mr. Country, mm -hmm. and the song is called Rainy Days at the Beach. So when you live in Caithness, you just love that title <laughs> because it's always raining, even when you're not at the beach. But it was written by an American, Jeff Sable. Okay. And I had heard the song online and just wanted to record it straight away. It was one of those songs that just did it for me. And I got in contact with Jeff and spoke to him about it and he was delighted that I wanted to record his song and he said that I would be the only other person that okay. had is going to record it. Okay. However, Very I special. heard shortly after that Jeff suddenly passed away. Oh. So Jeff never got to hear my version of the song, so I dedicate the song to the memory of Jeff That's and well. also to all his family. Well done. The second track is 
a song that I've written myself. Okay. It was one of those songs, again, that was written during lockdown in bits and pieces, and I eventually put it together, and it can be interpreted in different ways, and I'm just looking forward to everyone hearing the track and taking from the track what they feel uh, relates to them the most. I feel it has a message of hope, and it's called Goodbye. Goodbye. And the double together, is there a title for them both? I just call it the unique double single. I just think that's a really the unique funny double title. single. <laughs> sounds sounds great, uh, Brandon. So that's more stuff that we need to look out for uh, from Brandon. A double single, and then Brandon, if 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 one tour wasn't enough, you're off to do another tour in Ireland after your Scottish tour. What about it? That's right. Ireland's like a second home for us. Before COVID, we were there so often that it was just so good to be back. So we're we're coming. We're doing a short tour in. April. Yep. We're in Antrim, we're in Cork, which is a very far away. Yeah, that's a long <laughs> way. We're also in Enniskillen. Yes. We're part of the Hot Country Award show as well with Hugh O'Brien. We're also up in Comer for Sammy Pollock as well. But the Hot Country Awards, we've been there for a good lot of years now and it's got the creme de la creme of country music. So to be involved on the show, to be performing on the show, it's yeah. just such a fantastic feeling. Brandon, over the years, you know, because you started as that wee lad playing that button key accordion and you've won those championships and, you know, it's still a huge part of your act. But, you know, you've taken on the singing, the guitar playing and blended into the country stuff. How, how do you feel about all that, Brandon? You know, what's next for you? Well, when starting off the accordion, I couldn't never have imagined the things that I would have done, the places I would have played, the people I would have met. It's, it's been such a great journey and I'm just looking forward to what the future is going to bring. I, I certainly know for me, at 10 years old, I never once imagined that I ha would have the honour of performing for His Royal Highness Prince Charles, now King Charles. And I, I just feel so lucky. Yeah, yeah. So that's your Irish tour. That sounds amazing. Now I know later on this year, Brandon, you've got some special concerts planned in the Plaza Theatre down in Stockport around the 17th of September? That's right. Well, it'll be a similar format of show to what we have here in Scotland, but looking forward to branching out into new areas. And I had the, the pleasure of visiting and performing in the plaza along with Foster and Allen back in November. And I just can't wait to bring my own show there. There'll be other theatres announced all around England as well around the same time. So we're looking forward to that. Branching out is always. Brandon, where, where can we find out more details? On my website, just brandonmcphee.com and of course I'm on all the social media platforms you can think of as well to just keep everyone up to date as possible. So Brandon, the end of your tour here of course is going to be at Eden Court, your Scottish tour. Uh, Inverness, home kind of territory for you. What does it feel like getting booked up again to come back to Eden Court? Well, it has to be one of my all-time favourite venues. The atmosphere and ambience that's in the venue is absolutely incredible. And yeah. if people all come together as a big Eden Court family, I think in my whole music career, I would have been performing here over 20 times. Mm -hmm. It first started off with what was Jim and Catherine Mackay's Button Box Gathering. Okay. And that had a host of great accordionists on there, and I was always so lucky to be part of it. And we did that for several years, and there was also a few other concerts in there, Manson Grant and the Dynamos, along with Jim McKay, which I was part of as well. And then we came with our own show, yep. and that was just something completely different because yep. it featured the accordion and the singing and put together, and we've done that show in there for a lot of years now. And it's a different show every time we come back. Okay. So people who would have been at the show to the last time we were here, it's completely different this yeah, time. Yeah. The format's still very much the same, but yes. there's some new songs, there's some new tunes, and we just like to keep it as fresh as we possibly can. So just really excited to come back here. Yeah, well, you've, you've been amazing, Brandon, because the one thing with all your talent is your feet are always firmly on the ground, and you know, you're, you're a great guy at performing live, etc. You're always a great guy to have a chat with. So you've got your tours coming up, You've got these recordings out. I wish you all the very best with your tours. And all that I'm going to do today is encourage everyone, if you haven't already got your tickets, to those concerts coming up with this brilliant guy and his band and everything that he puts on in entertainment. If you don't go, you're going to be missing a great start to 2023. So get out there and buy your tickets and support Brandon McPhee and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.